and, uh, and this whole the whole thing's conversation. So you'll be looking at him just completely ignore this camera. Cool. What's up? Hey. All right. So um, basically, first question is tell us about. I think starting with your prayer journey would be the best part for flowing your juices for the other questions. So tell us about like impactful moments in your life in prayer. Yeah, I mean, just generally, my prayer journey has been very up and down <laughs> over my life. It's uh, prayer is not my strong suit, and it's not something that I often enjoy. It's some of the, one of those things that's like. I know I should be doing this and sometimes God gives me moments of like hearing from him and and moments of emotional closeness with him but I'm not a very emotional person generally and so I just don't feel close to him I don't feel like like it's a conversation a lot of the time I just feel like I'm supposed to be doing it so over my life I've had times where I where I'm more faithful in that and uh, I get into a good rhythm with it um, and then other times where it's kind of at the back of my mind and get put on the back burner um, so uh, you know but but when I am faithful with it it seems like God God is faithful to show me at least little moments of him speaking to me um, so just one example of that is since I've been listening to your podcast and um, and going to some prayer meetings and things, it's been more at the forefront of my mind. And I uh, had to go to, well, got to go to summer camp with our youth group this year because I work with our youth group. And uh, I was pregnant and very, very sick. And I had been worried about it all summer about trying to get through the week and be present with my girls while I was feeling so bad. And, uh, and at the beginning of the week, they had the leaders all meeting and they had us praying um, for the week. And I, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking what I'm usually thinking when somebody's praying, which is focus, Lauren, don't get distracted, focus, listen to what they're saying, or I should be praying myself, like one of those two things. But because I had been listening to the podcast so much, I thought, wait a second, there's a third option. I need to, I could listen to God and I could ask him what he has to say to me. And uh, so I stopped and I just, I just listened. I said, God, do you have anything to say to me? And he just said, I got you. And I was like, okay, thank you. I just had so much peace about the week and I didn't feel amazing all week, but I knew when I did feel bad, I could look to that and know that God had heard me and that he was gonna make the week fruitful however I felt. And so that was really encouraging. Um, and so, yeah, when, I, when I'm being faithful to speak to him more and listen to him more, um, he's always faithful to give me, sometimes it's just very little things, but just reminders that he's there, so. Come on.